So we're continuing our lesson on 2.2. Now we're looking at dividing decimals. Now, if we just recall quickly from multiplying decimals, multiplying decimals had the concept of count the number of decimals in your question and that equals the number of decimals in your answer. So it was a concept of borrowing and giving back. So again, in multiplication, you count the number of decimals in the question and that gives you the number of decimal places in your answer. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 with two decimal places. Dividing decimals works slightly different. It's the concept of what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. We call this balancing. So if we looked before, the question is how much does he have to work to earn the same amount of money than he did before. Well, the same amount of money that he earned before was $243.38. But this time, instead of making $8.25 an hour, he's now earned a little bit more. So we want to know how many hours does he have to work if he was being paid $8.60 an hour. So what we need to do is we divide his total pay divided by this new rate and we figure out how many hours does he have to work to get that same rate. Now we can't do the concept of borrowing and giving back because we have the, a division and that means we can't really give back after the division. But what we need to do is we balance out the top and we balance out the bottom. The way that we do that is we make them whole numbers and we need to divide. Well the one that's most important is this one, the divisor because that's the one that we're going to divide by and it's hard to divide by a decimal place. So we need to move this decimal by two places. So we move this one two places, but what we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So we also have to move the top one also two places. So we rewrite this question as instead of 243.38 divided by 8.60, it's now 24,338 divided by 860. We notice it's the same question as, for example, 5 divided by 5 and 50 divided by 50. What we did is we, what we did to one side, we did to the other side. And the answer will be the same, so there is nothing to do with the answer. We don't have to change the answer at all once we balance the top out and the bottom out. So now we can divide as normal 24,338 divided by 860. Well, this is a little bit tricky, so we just have to do a little bit of multiplying to see what will fit in. And if we notice that two 860s go into 2,433, so that's 1,720, we now subtract through. So 713 is remaining, and then we drop the next place value. So we have an eight. So 860 goes into 7,138 eight times, and that's 6,880. And we're left with 258. Well, we still have a remainder, so let's add the decimal place, because that's where it was, and it follows in the same suit. And there's a zero here, so now we drop that zero. 860 goes into 2,580 three times, so three times that equals 2,580, and I am finished. That means that uh, Costas must work 28.3 hours to get the same pay. So let's just check our work to see if that makes sense. 28.3 hours times 8.6 dollars per hour hours cancel out and if we use the calculator that gives two hundred and forty three dollars and thirty eight cents notice one decimal place in the question two decimal places in the question give two decimal places in the answer so that was decimal division